بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور من الجنة والناس Surah An-Nas Say, I take refuge in the Lord of the people, the absolute ruler of the human race, the God of the people. The lordship of Allah is seen through how he creates, feeds, germinates, and protects us. The absolute ruler of the people is their owner, ruler, writer of their destiny, and the provider of their health and prosperity. The God of the people, their temple, and many more adjectives can be directed towards him only. It is very interesting that the first three ayahs are ordered in the way that they are. When a person first observes the natural processes occurring within him and his physical development, he realizes that he has a creator. This allows the believer to realize that we only worship him because worship could only be towards the one who needs nothing. This is why we are asked to seek refuge in him from all evils from the evil of the lurking whisperer. In the surah, shaitan is not mentioned by name, but is mentioned through its two adjectives. Those are wiswas and hannas. Wiswas is the one who whispers a lot and has the characteristics of a whisperer. Whispering is considered to insinuate bad thoughts into the people's hearts with a secret voice such as a whisper and to provoke them into acting upon them. Hanas is the one who has the characteristics of a sly fox, one who follows a person insidiously in order to lead them to evil acts or thoughts. When a person remembers Allah, shaitan withdraws. When a person is heedless of Allah, shaitan immediately whispers to him, who whispers into the hearts of humankind from among jinn and humankind. There are two groups of shaitan, those that whisper and those who try to get people to deviate from the way of Allah. One of these groups is the jinn and the other is humans. As a matter of fact, Surah Al-Annam states, and so we have made for every prophet enemies, devilish humans and jinn, whispering to one another with elegant words of deception, which informs us that human and jinn shaitan try to deceive people with deluding words. The messenger of Allah, peace and blessings be upon him, ordered Abu Dhar, may Allah be pleased with him, to take refuge in Allah from the jinn and human, and then told him that there were shaitans from humans as well as from jinn.